Alright, first we're up against a druid. Mm, Sap is pretty decent against druid in case he makes some big innovate play. Might keep back step. Those are maybe a bit slow. So with backstep and dagger I can deal with an aspirant in case he has one. And I have sap for innovate plays and let's see. Now even deadly poison. Okay. Let's wait and see what the druid is going to come up with. And just a wild growth. That's fine so far. I would love to find some minions though. Okay, let's dagger up. And that's all for this turn. Next turn I might get a good Edwin play, although he could silence it, possibly. A chill wind yeti. Oh, wow. What here is it again? How do I want to deal with the chill wind yeti? I could backstab deadly poison coin and Edwin. Yeah, I think that's okay. So let's backstab. With deadly poison I can remove that. And then I can still coin out. A big Van Cleef. It's vulnerable to a big game hunter, but other than that, Druid has a bit of a hard time re removing big minions. So turn 388 eight is not bad. The Brotherhood shall prevail. That loadup is pretty nice though. It actually managed to lock me out of pretty much everything. So now he gets to kill Edwin next turn. That's nice. Let's punch face. While Edwin is still alive. Now he can just rat it. With load up or swipe it. Oh wow. Now that's surprising. I could backstep and flurry. I could backstep eviscerate and flurry actually even. And Edwin hits face again. Let's give this a try. Now he has four towers and discounted cards. But he's not quite dead. Yeah, double prep doesn't kill him. I guess I need to fan. Do I need to fan for cards? Actually, I think I do. I need to fan for cards. SI7 is pretty nice. So I'll sap that. I'll even prep or sap. Yeah. Just so I can put him to two health. Now he needs to armor up. Or otherwise I can kill him. With SI7. With SI7. Yeah, 
Yeah, this is going this is going completely fine. <laughs> Nexus, hi, welcome. Yes, I'm going to win this game. That was that was the right move. I managed to make the right move with the rogue. So there. I just prep the SI to hit face. Like a dagger face. I also top decked a deadly poison, but I didn't need that. I had to I had the lethal and everything went it's exactly as I planned. So here I have an SI7, I don't have a coin. But I should be able to draw something that I can use use with the SI7. Well, now I have minions. The first game where I actually have minions. The other two ones were pretty low on that. Nothing to challenge the aspirant with. Yeah, absolutely nothing. I'm just dagger up. I don't even want to hit it in case I draw a backstab, because if I draw a backstab, then I can kill it off. Nope, no backstep. Don't want to hit it now. I don't have anything to activate the SI7 agent with next turn anyway, though. I guess there's still the chance that I might draw a backstep. So I still won't hit it. I'll just play the fast here. Too bad that I can't remove the tramp. It looks like he didn't have anything meaningful to do on this turn, though. That's good news. Is he really going to run the Aspirant in? No. He just wanted to ensure that this guy dies if he attacks into the Aspirant. But with the hand that I have, I'm completely fine with that. I'm just happy to take away the tramp. And I, now I get to play the Pillager. Alright, so now we maybe start to get into this. We have a bunch of 5 mana minions in hand. We have sap in hand. It doesn't help much to sap that though. I could take five and... I could take five to the face and keep the pillager alive. If I play the SI. Yes, I and then the eviscerate. I guess I will do that. Here we go. Because I wa value my minions pretty high. So yes, I doesn't get activation, but eviscerate does. And I took five to the face, but so does he. So we're on on even ground in that regard. And that saved my sap. I guess he's going to attack the shade into the tree tree. He's definitely considering that. But he didn't. Now I found a backstep as well. Well I could play the Azure Drake, then I can backstep and trade the SI into the Druid of the Claw. I guess that's pretty strong. Let's see what I draw as well. Now I get rid of this guy, I didn't have to use a sap on it. Pillager is still alive, still hitting face. Combo is 22 now, if he can innervate out a combo. Thanks to the Taurus and discount. No, at least that is not coming yet. Okay, killing off the Drake, that's fine. And now we're now we're in crucial times. I could sap back the shade. And I could play low to put him to 13. I still don't have any way to kill him. If I play boom, then I would have to sacrifice the pillager. Because I couldn't leave him with that board. 
he might be able to combo me down. Boom would be pretty nice. But I guess I will go with the low tip. I'll try to load up and sap play here. And hit face. I still have the bail chair available to me. Deadly poison is not quite enough. So I guess it's bell chair time. And hit face. Let's see if he can take me down from here. If he can't, I would need a damage spell. Any damage spell would do, because I have Talnos. Well, not if he armors up, then I can't just flurry. But now this has been a much more exciting game than the first two ones. Let's see if he has a solution. Is that going to be enough? Depends on the boom, but that's going to be enough. Because the boom bot killed the belcher. Big risks there. If the boom bot didn't kill the belcher, that would not have been enough. Thank you for watching. For more action, please visit my YouTube channel. And if you like what you see, remember to subscribe.